A Tom Kench as well would certainly make Cinder's life more difficult. So it is going to be the defensive pick from the side of the Mad Lions. Very hard for the Jin and the Cinder to find a lot of effect here up against such a good defense. In trouble unless they get the red and get out. They're moving. They're searching for the Morgana. He's going to smite a camp. Level two. Potentially could find the turn here. Big if the binding manages to connect the flash in. Now that's going to be a Tom Kench incredibly low. Tom Kench until he has the thick skin is so squishy and Kaiser is in trouble. First blood for BRTT. The invade backfires. Really good. Just base now has the Predator and that means because he showed both sides, Alumia right. has window to work with here. Level six, that's going to be big. That's the combo. Going to drop tower aggro, leaping out to safety. Holding on for one more shot oh. than he wanted to though. That's Robo, big. Robo! Instantly turns and burns. Blood in the wall. Arm with no flash, so he has to be careful. Predator. Predator. He can dash it to safety, but Karaoke is still coming in at full speed. Oh! Clean sidestep. No, the binding still manages to connect. Armut's going to be in trouble. That's a mini Nari. He's just getting shredded. That's another one for Robo. A second thumbs up, just for a little extra. Humanoid will keep this pushing mid. Tinones has the blue buff, so he can contest it. But jungle support teaming up. Lucy could be in danger here. Lucy overstaying is welcome. Burning very quickly. El Yoya just does so much damage. That's a level five. Pick out. up the dragon as well. So good early game play there from Mad Lions. They keep the bot push. They're playing towards the bot side of the map, but top side gets first is tower. It means he can move towards mid, and Mad Lions will lose this pressure point in mid because Robo can move down there. Gets the, key, gets the tower, can he get the wave? and he can push the wave in and keep running towards bot side, then he should be fine. Hang on, though. No. It's going to be engaged. That's going to be the immediate stun. The CC, the follow-up. Humanoid just gets knocked out. He is the Gale Strong. Force. It is going to be a tough game. Yeah, pain. They don't want to contest bot side. They don't have the vision. They're taking the Herald in the first place anyway, but this Herald can go mid. Karzi's getting chunked Binding, out, though. Instant follow-up CC. Karzi just getting deleted in the mid lane. They can drop the Herald mid if they yep. want to. They've got a wave here, too. Pain are absolutely taking over this game. 1,000 gold lead. About to get just a little bigger. Look top though as well. Robo's diving Armut in between two towers. He has a wave to play with too. Big. Running out of rage though. Three stacks. Hyper. He has to go back through enemy tower. If he auto attacks again, he needs to get the 100 to 0 combo. Karyoka. Here comes Karaoka on the backside. Arma taking his time on this one. This trying to play. Cross map, but he knew Humanoid would be topside. Karzi gets hit again. Waiting. Hex flash now coming in. Lucy opts not to go. Oh, there's BRTT. BRTT trying to finish the job. Big arrow channeling. Oh, shut down, but now he has big items. Sterex stride breaker. Plated steel caps at 18 minutes. This Renekton's massive. Lucy taking some good damage. No, no equalizer follow, but Humanoid might not even need it. Tries to dash back in, but it's clean move from Humanoid. Trying to make it for earlier, and he's going to look to finish it here. El Yoya grabs the kill. BRTT turning Mad back. Lines are giving it up to keep the top side vision because they know that if they can test the fight now, there could be a chance they lose the fight. And if they push pushing lanes, and they can do things like this. This is very risky, though, I have to say. Right into the face of everybody, El Yoya. Now Burning does a ton of damage. The follow-up can't be there, but Kaiser has not used the Devour quite yet. It's going to save him out. That's going to be big. Humanoid coming over the wall. Equalizer, Robo overstays, and now it is BRTT who is in trouble. That is two free kills to the side of Mad Lions. Robo here. They have the Tam Kench, but the TPs are coming in as well. Tinons doesn't have TP to respond. Robo. Still a bit high risk. Stride Breaker in. Good damage down on a Humanoid. Now he's looking for the follow-up. Humanoid. That's a lot of damage from the Renekton. The calling, though, <gasps> just barely. But the setup has to be there, though, because PNG are waiting in the darkness. Binding goes wide though, burning their cooldowns oh. a bit prematurely, and now the Equalizer comes down. Big damage from downtown, they're not even in range, and they're already doing work here. How comes the Jin ultimate, but it's too little too late. It's, it's Humanoid on the side, and Mad have won this fight before it even started. This is an absolute slaughter. I don't oh. think Pain Gaming have done a single point of damage. Mad line. Just brutal. You can oh, see Robo's the... gonna go in for it, I Robo think. Robo turning, can it get this down? Robo dashes in, he's not gonna be able to finish it. Robo in the midst of the entire team wants to heal back up, but Humanoid manages to make it over the wall. Now Robo trying to turn it. He's getting resurrected, but there's there's no way. He cannot find a kill. Kaiser, all of the Mad Lions are here. Robo tries, but it does not work in the end. Disaster. Just pull the trigger, engage the culling, the equalizer, the Varus poke. There's so much range, and P Pain needs to be the ones engaging if they want to find the winning team fight. But in the end, they've, they're on Dragon Soul point now. Mad Lions have the Baron, and they're going to set up the 4-1. Now coming out, Armut doesn't have TP, so he wants to be with his team with the Meganar to prevent any engages. And they're going to play for this mid-tier one, and now this bot tier two. And in this Red Bull Baron power play, you can already see almost 3k in the favor of Mad. It's only going to continue to grow as they break down these tier twos. Humanoid waiting on the bottom side. Armin almost with the Mega Gnar ready. Tinone's waiting. Early Stride Breaker used here. No one really wants to go in on that Mega Gnar. Lucy's going to try it anyway, but he whiffs. Big damage now coming down. Alistair giving his life for nothing. Lucy forced to back away. Now it's not just the tier two, but the inhibitor tower that's being threatened. Now Pain Gaming have no engage, so Mad Lions have more range, and they're just going to have to walk back. Maybe they can try to clear the waves with Morgana and Syndra, but right now there's two pressure points in the map. Karzi's is going to push in mid. I think they're going to rotate from bot to mid and have two or three numbers on both these lanes. Pain Gaming, they need to stop the siege somehow, but they don't have any engage. 
Mad Lions just continue to step forward. The Siege is just relentless here. You've got the Poke Varus as well. Robo's been locked up. He's forced to back away. Karzi pushing in. Mad Lions, they're not looking to give Pain Gaming any room to maneuver here. They remember what happened last time. They do not want this to be a close game. The second they find a big lead, they are looking to end this as quickly as possible. What can Pain do? They can't clear out the creeps because they're Baron buffed up. Two cannons on both lanes. Maybe Mad Lions can threaten some kind of end here. The problem is they can't hit the towers. They can't step up too far. Lucy's up on this Alistar and he's flanking around. If Mad Lions just base here, all they have to play for is this top inhibitor, but Pain, if they let them base and spend their gold, it's going to be really hard to win the next team fight. Lucy, trying to buy a bit of space. Is going to get locked up. Is just going to get burned down. Can't get anything done. The equalizer off cooldown. Concerned. In just a matter of three minutes, this game's just turned on his head. Mad Lions with the landslide. Gold lead. TP's back on top wave to oh! keep up the tempo. Karaoke's just dead. Absolutely cold. Mad Lions moving in. No chance for hope today. Mad Lions are here to make it out of the first group. Robo taken down. They are getting cut down where they stand. Pain Gaming, no hope left. Ultimate connects in as well. Lucy now in trouble. His ultimate forced out, and you have to feel that this is just the end. Mad Lions, with this win, will lock it up. They will qualify. They will make it to the Rumble stage, and with it, they will take away the last hope of the CB Lol and Pain Gaming. They are slowly but surely ending it. They do not have a creep wave, but they do not need one because it is here now, and they will close this out. They will kill the Nexus and they will take their place in the Rumble stage. It looks shaky in the early stages.